It's Tuesday, the 13th of August, and this is your daily crypto debrief. So Bitcoin, ETH, Solana, all down a little bit. Pretty much everything is down a little bit. There's a couple of random altcoins that are up. But in general, it's a down day. One thing to keep in mind, though, is August and September is often red for BTC. Statistically, they are the two worst months on average. Now, I mean, this is probably not a big enough sample size, but I guess this is quite relevant to know. This is quite a quite a red period. It's red this month. We could be red next month. I don't think we will be, but just in general, we don't do terribly well in August. Next bit of news, and this is good news. Minor reserves for BTC have dipped below levels not seen since Bitcoin's early 2021 all-time high. So this is essentially their reserve of coins that they can flood onto the market. Because mining these days, you don't get as many coins as you used to. I guess you cannot really dump the market as much as you could in the past. But we can see we're right down here at this low point. So even if the price really kind of started to pump, there's not a crazy amount of tokens or coins, Bitcoin, that can actually jump onto the market in order to realize some profits. So this is a good thing. Also, the network hash rate has hit a fresh record high. So this is the highest it's ever been. And this always happens, you know, it can go up or down, but this always happens before there's a general kind of movement that's really, really bullish in Bitcoin. It's up, which is good. Of course, they can turn off miners if the price goes down, but there's a lot of people getting in on Bitcoin mining. Personally, I don't do Bitcoin mining. Tried in 2017, and it's a very hard thing to be profitable. So you do need to be very kind of precise with your predictions. Also, Bitcoin reserves and exchanges are at 2018 levels. So in 2018, like the bull market ended December, January, December 2017, January 2018. And then the low was in December of 2018. So now we suddenly see Bitcoin move out. It's going off exchanges into people's ledgers. And this is another bullish thing. Now onto some Solana news. So this is the Jupiter referral program. This is something which is quite good. It's not for like, in my opinion, myself or you or anyone like that. You don't want to try and bring your friends into dupe and then have them pay fees. It's more for dApps, in my opinion, although anyone can create something. So you create, you go to dupe.eg, you set the fees you want to implement up to 1%, and you set which tokens you want to earn fees on. Jupiter takes a small cut of that, and then you go and flick this out. So this could be a source of revenue for people. I have no intention of using it myself, but I mean, maybe it's something that needs to happen in the future. We'll see what people kind of think. When we have a look what Soju says, basically, this is more for like your blinks or things that are being built into, say, Discover or a new wallet that comes along or a new dApp that comes along. Something like that. This is where they can just easily create a referral. They don't have to go into the Discord, meet with Soju, have something specially created. It's just creatable right there. And then it gives Jupiter income as well. Next bit of news, PYUSD. So this is a PayPal stablecoin. There's more of this on Solana than Ethereum now. We can see this at DeFi Llama, 356 mil on ETH and 377 on Solana. So this is doing really well. I do like this and of course Camino, they've got great incentives, but if you want to, you can also use Drift and MarginFi. They're also giving you a good boost or just use Lulu, lulu.fi, and then you can just get the best rate if you just want to deposit it. For more information on this, like just so you feel safe, it is redeemable for US dollars and it is officially on Solana by PayPal. It's not bridged or anything like that. Next bit of news, I'll have a video out on this which goes in more detail, but DeBridge Foundation, they've introduced the DeBridge Foundation and DBR Checker. So the DeBridge Foundation is obviously like probably set up in the Caymans or something like that, similar to how everyone does it. The link is this, dbridge.foundation. There are some decently scammy sites out there trying to take your funds, so be very, very vigilant. The pre-sale price, and if you do want to buy or sell, I do suggest Wales Market. Link is below if you want to use it. You're looking at about three cents per token. So at three cents per token, it puts it at about a 300 million fully diluted valuation. Now, if you use DeBridge, you can claim some tokens when this goes live. We don't have a date yet. If you went for around 30,000 points, like I you know, preferred everyone to get that watches the channel, you'll have two different distributions. One, the first one will be on token generation event, and then you have to wait six months to get the other allocation. This is just a random address. I don't know whose address this is. So there's 5,000 DBR. Now, if you were a smaller person just using it organically or just, you know, trying out one time, you will not be able to get very many tokens, of course, but you can get them all at once. So it's just a top 10% that have to wait for six months for 50% of their allocation. And if we have a look at this from Fabiano.so, we can see at the current price, 
three it's a 300 million dollar fdv and let's assume we are around here rank 5000 maybe our fee spent was around 310 dollars we'll be slightly break even at this point nothing crazy with dbridge i still need to find out like what is a token actually going to be used for you can read through this if you want to but as i said i've got a video out on this and i do suggest you watch that video next bit news sanctum if you have inf deposited with a modify this is a reminder to withdraw your inf from the protocol because they are shutting down or no longer allowing all positions to be managed. Another bit of news from a protocol that's uh, deprecating some things, and this is unfortunately clone protocol. So this is really unfortunate. I guess they didn't find product market fit, but they're actually winding down. So we bought some, I can't remember what we bought, or I bought some, some random token, Doge or something with clone. Now I have to go and unwind that and then convert it back to Sol or something like that. So if you want, more information, you can have a read through this medium post, but unfortunately it just didn't work out for them. Next bit of news or mining. This is just a link in case someone's keen to run it via Windows with CLI. I'm not gonna guide you through everything, but basically this is what it is. Greed Academy. If you actually locked up some soul with greed, you may as well do this lesson. Do all the lessons. One, you'll learn something. Two, you'll get extra rewards from the actual validator and you'll get these rewards come just before breakpoint now there's going to be new subscribers to the channel not everyone's going to know that i'm very very bullish on bonk i think bonk is worth dollar cost averaging into of course nothing's financial advice never will be this is a random thread from ario and just a little bit of a reminder really sometimes it's best to have in fact i think it's always best to have conviction in certain things and not too much dispersing of time into random tokens unless we have a thesis or there's some sort of conviction play behind it or unless we're like working 80 hours a week and we can keep up to date with all these things get in get out get in get out this is a long hold thing with me i buy it dca it and i go and stake it so just as a reminder bonk was introduced december 2022 edge up to many users and basically it's just grown and grown one key thing is the fact that there's 816 1855 wallets that hold this now of course i'm going to have bonk in probably 30 wallets some people may have bonk in just one wallet so this is not 816,000 people but this is incredibly decent like this i think is probably the most well distributed meme coin i might not be entirely accurate with that maybe there's another one on bnb or something but this is something that's fantastic and as you may know or maybe don't know there's a portion of bonk that's actually burnt it's burnt via the dow or bonk bot don't worry about burn this was a project that started and just didn't get the same traction in terms of the meme coin world but bonk is essentially deflationary next bit of news so there was a twitter space yesterday with elon musk and donald trump and a lot of people wanted to attend and listen to this of course for all sorts of news meme coin alpha was one like a, a really valuable ticker could have been cool but either way it didn't work like the infrastructure they had a ddos attack and i wasn't able to listen to it and many people weren't either so i have no idea what actually went on i think the recording needs to go up the crazy thing is during this on pump fun almost 160,000 new coins launched and only three apparently have successfully graduated zero out of the three are above graduation price and this is where like solana meme coins you can launch but the vast majority of time now we're like well over like 99.9% .9 of the time you lose money so i think it's time that we form convictions on things that we think are actually going to be decent and we don't go off this occasional lottery winner that wins wins big by putting in $100 and turning it into 500,000 essentially this is what slog says is completely accurate the big winner of the night was pump fund who made nearly 2 million in revenue in the last 24 hours the house always wins unfortunately when we really zoom out because there's been 1.7 million tokens launched Jussie's got this. So the number that are shown in CoinGecko, 141. The one that have maintained a $1 million market cap for multiple weeks, 41 coins, and maintained a $10 million market cap for multiple weeks, 15 coins. It's just, it's rug city out there. Now there is one that I had a video on, Simon's Cat Token, which I still think has a decent amount of potential. We've had more and more new data. This is not an easy thing to game. This is something I'm still looking into. I'm just putting it onto your radar. So Simon's Cat Token, they've got like a YouTube channel, which is, you know, doing very, very well. It's quite old, got cool animations. They have a brand. They have a brand. This is launching August 22nd. I will have more information on this if you want to do what I'm about to do, which I'll go over. It's basically trying to get into the pre-sale. I don't, like, I, who knows what's going to do really well in the meme coin world. This is on BNB. There's less competition on BNB. This has, like, you know, the EVM crowd could get involved with this. It has good branding. 
maybe maybe it fails as well. Sometimes you're going to take risks, sometimes you're not going to take risks. You can still go and buy either some flocky, like at least fifty to a hundred dollars worth would probably be the best bet on B and B or on ETH, and you will be eligible for an airdrop. I don't think you're going to get a crazy amount though. This is obviously created with flocky or like from flocky or something like that, a way to you know accumulate more attention to them, I guess. And I think it can do well because yeah, I just I think it can. I definitely don't know what the exact play is other than fifty to a hundred dollars into flocky for now but I'll know more of what the play is tomorrow. Now, this is very important for any devs out there. Discover have a Canvas build build-a-thon. So they're calling all Web3 developers. This happens, this is happening now from August 5th to September 19th. There's 100K in prizes for building stuff that just make, this makes Canva a lot better. So if you are a dev, I will make it very clear, you should get into this. Tracks include NFT and token minting, on-chain governance, DeFi and commerce, media and gaming, and Blinks. Skills requ required. I don't have any of these skills, but TypeScript, React, Next.js, uh, Versal, I don't know what this one is, Heroku, and Cloudflare. Join the Discord for any help. And if you're not already using Discover, check it out. It's a cool thing. It's like Twitter, but it's more of a Web3 vibe. I'll also be one of the judges for the DeFi and Commerce track. So please build something cool. And if you are a dev and you need to find out about more of this, I will link this below. You can read through this to kind of get yourself started and then dive in. Last night, I did another video on Breakpoint and getting to Breakpoint. I will be there. I will hopefully be doing quite a bit of content to keep everyone updated that can't make it. But I think this is a very plus EV move for people to make if they can get there. It'll be a little bit expensive, but if you watch through this video, it's packed full of research and data, so you can know what it's gonna cost and what things to do, where you should stay, what you should eat, et cetera, et cetera, what you should see, all that sort of stuff, including some travel tips in case you haven't traveled on a long haul flight before. Now the actionables. So check your DBR allocation. Remember to check your EVM wallets as well as your Solana wallets, but I also have a video going live on that, so watch that as well. The Jito Soul PYUSD vault on Camino is 77%. APY, it's decent. Watch my breakpoint video. Withdraw your INF from Armadify. Remove liquidity from Clone. Read their announcement. Devs check out Discover Canvas Buildathon. Airdrop actionables. Deposit into Camino's Jita Soul, Soul Meteor Pool. Check my airdrop link video for airdrops. Claim your drift tokens. You've got three days. Get $50 to $100 worth of Flocky on BNB or E for Simon's Cat airdrop. That's it for today. Catch you in the next video.